hey guys welcome back to my channel I am MSA if you're new so I've been in love with the color lilac for the last few months I don't know why I think it's just it's spring it's pretty much everywhere I think in terms of fashion and also on Instagram I've seen a lot of a lilac looks so I decided to um, play around with it and try to make it work for me because I don't often wear pastel colors and it can be slightly challenging to pull off on darker skin tones because you don't want to end up looking ashy but I made the lash line quite smoky and it works I made it work for me so if you Want to learn how to create this look please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and drop me a like and also share this video with somebody else who you think would enjoy it right let's get started so the first thing I'm doing is just priming my eyes I'm using the urban decay primer potion this is in the shade caffeine then I'm just using a real techniques concealer brush to blend this in I'm putting a lighter layer than what I usually would because I'm going to apply a white base over this but the whole point of this primer is just to stop the eyeshadows from creasing. Next, I'm going to apply the NYX Jumper Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. This is a very old school product, but it is really good. I've used it for years and it's great when you just want to create a light base. So I'm just putting it on kind of roughly and then I'm just going to use my fingers to blend it in because we're going to put a lilac color on top and lilac is a difficult color to show up on dark skin. Um, in fact, all skin tones, it generally needs a base underneath for you to get the real color payoff. I'm just going to put a little bit more. I'm just going to use that same concealer brush just to blend out the edge so that there are no harsh areas. So the palette I'm using is the NYX Ultimate palette and this is the brights. It comes in different types of um, colors. So I'm using this lilac shade and just a flat shader brush and I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelid. So taking that a bit above my crease. The next palette I'm using is the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. I'm using this purple shade and a MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to use that to blend out just the top edge of that purple. I'm just going to put a little bit more of that lilac back in towards just above my crease just to so that the two colors blend in well together. Then I'm just going to use the exact same color and a small shader brush and I'm going to create a wing shape just on the outer part of my eye. So I'm just going to pack that color in. The next palette I'm using is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsession and I'm using that very dark purple shade and I'm going to do the exact same thing, just pack that in the same shape as that wing. Yeah, I think this brush I've used is far too big. It looks very messy at the moment, but I'm going to tidy it up. And then again, I'm using the Electric Obsessions palette, that same bright pink color, and I'm going to blend out this dark purple shade. Just going to go back and forth to thicken up this line. I was trying to avoid doing this, but I'm getting a lot of fallout and these are really pigmented colors, so I don't want to ruin the rest of my face. So I'm just putting some translucent powder down. Which I should have just done this before. But anyways, you live and you learn. Just using my MAC 224 brush again in that same pink color just to tidy up the edge of that wing because it's looking a bit messy. So I'm just going to blend that back into my transition shade. Okay, I think my issue was the brush. I've changed to a fluffy Morphe brush just to get that pink color in there. And that's looking a lot better. The next thing I'm going to do is line my eyes with the Inkblot One Move Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to create a little wing. But I'm using a flat angled liner brush from Eco Tools and black eyeshadow. This is just from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette, but any black shadow will do. And I'm going to put that on top of that 
black eyeliner but I'm also going to slightly smudge it out so just lift that color slightly above that line just a little bit just so it looks a little bit messy and then I'm gonna go back in again with that dark purple shade just to blend out that line back into the electric obsessions palette and that pink color and I'm going to blend that color spread those colors out again and then just blend out the edges of that back into my transition color so the eyes are done you can probably tell that the smoke liner is looking more intense it's just what I did off camera was I can repeated the exact same techniques I just reapplied the colors to make them more intense so now that it's all done I'm just going to apply my lashes and I will be right back lashes are on I'm just gonna get rid of all this excess powder on my face to finish off my lower lash lines I'm gonna go back in with that bright purple shade and pop that all over then once that's on I'm just using a black coal pencil just to line the outer half of my lower lash line actually in fact I'm gonna line the entire thing to make it really smoky and this doesn't have to be neat and then before it sets I'm just using a small shader brush and this dark purple color to just blend that out and pretty much we're doing the opposite of what we've done on the upper eyelid and just trying to join that up with the outer lash line as well just popping on some mascara so I'm going to use a pigment by MAC called melon just to highlight the inner corners of my eyes this makes it pop I love putting anything yellow toned with purple just looks good because they're complementary colors so it just makes it pop just gonna spray my brush with some fix plus there we go now that's popping for blush i'm using the same color as used as my transition shade just to tie the look together then to highlight i'm using maybelline master chrome highlighter this is in the shade molten chrome and just putting that all on the high points of my face. I'm also gonna put some of the highlighter underneath my brows. Honestly, this combination of gold and purple, it's a winner, always a winner. For lips, I'm using the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is in the, in, this is in the shade <laughs> Ruby Milk. I like that it's just adding a little hint of color but it's not too much because the eyes are very intense so you don't want anything too dramatic on the lips and that is the look all done guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you did enjoy watching this video and i'm going to see you guys in my next one bye